Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are talking about drivers and what are drivers? That's the first thing that people will probably ask me very often. What is a driver? Think of the drivers in Windows as programs that actually explain uh, to Windows itself how the hardware of your computer works. So an example of that to see what's on the screen here well you got a graphic chip, a graphic card in your computer and you need a driver so Windows has a driver for that graphics card um, to, sh to actually tell it how it works and so that's why everything works in Windows drivers are what makes all the hardware work in Windows but drivers are also a source of headaches sometimes uh, we're going to explain two ways today where you need to actually uh, find drivers um, and even three I would say there are probably uh, there's an easy way there's a hard way um, very often it's kind of difficult to find if you're not sure what you're doing or if you're not sure what driver you are installing um, I think you should not install anything because drivers can actually make your computer crash really bad so if you install a bad driver um, you'll make your computer crash first things first if you've got a brand name computer Toshiba, Dell, um, Acer, HP, Lenovo, Sony, Vio whatever is the name brand of your computer you should always go on the website of your um, brand. So for example, if I want to go into the um, drivers of my computer, it's a Toshiba, of course I will go into Toshiba.com or .ca because I'm in Canada. And there you'll go around into probably what's support and here is a mobile computing because this is a laptop and slowly here at the right side of the Toshiba you see select the product um, so you just you know select what you have the family of your computer and so um, depending on where you are all sites are not made the same mm -hmm. if you're on HP for example um, HP.com uh, if your computer is in HP, of course, um, you'll be greeted with the HP website. And sometimes it's not always really very easy to actually see um, where you need to go to get those drivers. So um, basically, you go into the HP Home, and uh, you'll you know look here is in French, but you'll look here is like support and, and drivers. Pirate is drivers. So you'll click on you know places like that. Sometimes it's on the corner. Uh, maybe you're going to a Dell website for a Dell computer. Well, just look at the screen, and in the Dell, very small at the top right, support. So basically, that's where you'll get uh, the newest drivers for your computer. And um, so, if your computer is a brand name that's the first thing you should do second well you can actually the easy way to do it on the second uh, way is to go into your device manager and um, just ask for an update through the Windows update so how you do that you just um, go into the desktop mode of your computer so you click on your desktop tile you go into your charms bar on the right and just go down into settings and there you'll have the control panel or if you want you can just go into the charms bar click the search and settings and just type control and there you will see device manager or uh, if you don't see device manager you might see control panel so click on the device manager uh, in the control panel so device manager is where everything is 
Um, another quick way to search for the device manager if you have trouble is go back to the charms, go into settings, and just type device into the settings. So device manager will pop up as a um, option there. The device manager is where every driver in your system is existent. So you'll have a list on the left side where you'll have what's happening and what's working or not. For example, I have unknown device here for some reason. Um, so if you see a little exclamation point, a little yellow triangle or something, a little red X, you know that something's wrong with one of the devices. If you want to just update the drivers, well, you'll just click, for example, my display adapters here. I can double click and you can go into the driver tab at the top of that window. And you see here, update driver. And you can click search automatically for updated driver software. That goes into the Windows database. Um, an interesting feature of the device manager also if you're, if you're not sure, uh, like I mentioned, you could go into your uh, brand name website, for example, I can go to the Toshiba website. Um, it's a good idea if you're, you have a problem, for example, with your graphics chip, you might want to update it. Well, it's a good idea to go and check for the driver date. Here is driver for August of 2012. So there's a good chance we're in March. There's a, there's a good chance that there might be an updated driver for my um, Radeon HD uh, card here. So um, by going to the Toshiba website, I can see is there a driver that's, um, you know, a new driver that's been done in the last few months that's uh, not as old as this one, so the dates are important. Um, so, the easiest way on many, many features of the Windows um, drivers uh, could be simply to just click and go into the driver tab and click update driver and always click at the top, search automatically. If there's an update on the Windows update sign, it's going to do it. And that's really an easy way to actually update drivers. But unfortunately, lots of drivers are what we call proprietary. That means that they are not available through another source except from the um, computer um, the computer maker, actually. So the company that actually makes your computer or the hardware. The last thing you could do is actually spot what's the name of the device. So for example, I'll take again the example of my display adapter that says AMD Radeon HD 7670. What I could do, I know it's an AMD Radeon, I can go on to the AMD or website. So I can say AMD Radeon in the search box, drivers, and there you'll be in the search graphics and driver software support.amd so you can go into the support and then you select the type of graphics you have so notebook HD so here you it's a 76 so it's the 7x series and then you'll just you know find your operating system here and those 864 bits and go display the results and you'll have drivers for example here it says there's a driver for uh, January 17 2013 that means that there are updates that are available uh, for the driver this is the driver verification tool so uh, maybe there are no updates also and uh, so that's another way to actually update everything on your computer uh, try to find the uh, company that makes your hardware. Um, if you're not really, really uh, computer savvy guy and you're kind of not really sure what you're doing, um, I would suggest that you can try the update from the Microsoft website. But um, don't go around trying to find drivers that you're not sure are compatible with your computer because you'll make it. Uh, probably drivers, installing bad drivers, the wrong driver. 
is the number one computer crash problem for people that just don't know what they're doing. So uh, be careful what you do here. So uh, this was a little video. It's kind of a little complicated to explain on uh, computer drivers. Uh, so you got three sources possible for your drivers in your computer. Um, of course, you've got the maker of your hardware, so uh, the computer. It's a Dell, a Toshiba, an HP, Lenovo. Go on to the website of the company company that made your computer. First of all, second. You can try the Windows Update um, feature when you click on the driver tab in the control panel and the device manager. And um, last, you can try and find the company that actually made that piece of hardware and see if there is an update through them. Um, if you have a brand name computer, chances are that if there's updated drivers, they'll be on the uh, website of the company that made your computer. And uh, always check the dates because you don't want to go back with a driver that's uh, older than the one you have, maybe. Or um, and make sure that uh, you install the right stuff, or else you'll crash your computer. And of course, if everything goes well, I don't really think updates are that important in the drivers. If everything works well, it, your computer never crashes. Um, I would say don't touch at any of the drivers because you might make things worse. Uh, and I've had a few, um, a few times when actually I updated drivers and it just made things worse on a perfectly working computer. So it uh, gives you an idea of how uh, important a bad design driver can be. So if you uh, are, um, you have that new Windows 8 computer maybe, or you like our videos or if you'd like to learn more about Windows 8, click the uh, subscribe button on our channel and you'll be uh, informed when new videos are online. If you have a, a video or a feature you'd like to see reviewed, let us know and we'll try to uh, review it for you. And of course, uh, take a look at our other videos. This is a great channel to learn more on how to use Windows 8. So if you've got that new computer and you're a little lost, this is a great place to be. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the old computer museum that is um, the official Windows 8 channel. Kind of little uh, problem here. There's another channel that I have. So this is the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.